Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I am going to be going over books that I will be reading in the month of February. At least I'll be starting all these in the month of February. I'm a little ambitious this month, but that's okay. I do have a project that's kind of a three-part where I allowed my viewers to help me pick a a book goal each month. And so for classics, I will be reading The Princess Bride uh, by William Goldman. This is going to be a buddy read with Berna and I will leave her channel linked below. And we are going to be reading this, I think the second week of February, I have like pretty much memorized the entire movie and I very much look forward to reading the book and comparing it and seeing, I mean, books are almost always better. And so if you're a huge fan of the movie, then the book, I, I have I have some pretty high expectations, but I think it's gonna be okay. My nonfiction, that I will be picking up is The Order of Time, Carlo Rovelli. So this is basically, like it says, a book about the nature of time. I am just so interested and enthralled and just really feel like it answers a lot of questions that I personally like to wrestle with. And I'm sure a lot of it will probably end up being over my head, but that's okay. This was recommended by Brandon at Brandon's Bookshelf. I will leave his channel below. And so if he thinks that it's accessible and a, a book that people should read to learn about, then that's good enough for me. We're gonna go with that. For my fiction book, I had been given Louise Penny. So the one that I had owned was not the one in sequence. So I have picked up from the thrift store this one. This is the second one in the Inspector Gamash series. So I look forward to reading this being very different than those other two books. And then because February is Black History Month, I absolutely want to make sure I do that. And in January, I did a trip to a continuing education trip to Birmingham, Alabama, and one day was spent entirely on civil rights. So I actually started the first chapter in this lovely book on Juneteenth. This is by Annette Gordon-Reed, and she is a native Texan, actually grew up not far at all from where I currently live, and her experience as a young black woman growing up, learning about Texas history, and some of the omissions, particularly around slavery and its major role in establishing the state for the Anglo here coming in, um, you know, to settle Texas. So I am just blown away and just saddened even by some of the more recent history that she is sharing. So I am passionate about Texas history in particular, all, all, all history, but particularly Texas history because it is ingrained in you as a Texan growing up that this is important to learn about our state because it is just multifaceted and this is a facet that has been missing. So I would love to see this book taught alongside some of the others. Wouldn't that be interesting? And I'm only a chapter in. I will also be reading for the first time Uncle Tom's Cabin uh, by Beatrice Stowe. I have never read this. It is a little chunky and I probably was dissuaded by that in the past, but I am very much looking forward to reading this and discovering more about everything. I mean, there are so, it's just always interesting to hear a different viewpoint on history. I then am going to pick up the next in my fantasy line for the Wheel of Time. This is book four, The Shadow Rising, and I have liked them better every single book, so we're gonna see if it holds. This is, of course, chunky. I don't know that I'm going to finish this, but I'm definitely, definitely going to start it, as well as I will pick up the next Brandon Sanderson, Shadow of Self. I am behind. He has the fourth and final one in this series out that I really wanted to read. I even pre-ordered it, but there it sits on my shelf because I haven't even read the second one. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna read that one probably before I read the Wheel of Time. And then just because February is Valentine's Romance, I got out my Jude Devereaux. This is one of the final books in Triad Chapter that I liked, made the cut. Jude Devereaux, I have read two books by her that were romances. This one, the first chapter that I read 
was like a mystery. So there was like a murder and they called back in a retired police chief to, you know, bring some big guns to this case. He probably is going to maybe have a romantic interest because he's a widower. I don't know. Maybe it's just a mystery. That will be fine too. But we're going to go ahead and count that as my romance and we'll see if it is or not. And if it's not, that's fine too. So if that was not enough, because, you know, that's not enough. <laughs> Uh, Becky, a teacup storyteller, is hosting the Three Musketeers read it long, and I have that on my TBR. That was picked as one of my classics. So I decided, why not? Let's read the Three Musketeers too. So I have got this copy. I have the downloaded audio to help me also listen at the same time. So we're going to be attempting two classics in the month of February. Shorter month, but we're going to do even more reading. We'll see how it goes. I'm at least hoping to dig into these, start them, and then we'll see. March, of course, is March of the Mammoths, and I am definitely going to be all on board for middle grade March this year. So they may even slide to April, but you know what? That's the beauty of being a reader, y'all. We can read as we are led to read and it will be okay. <laughs> Books will wait for you and the adventure awaits. So may you find this day that book that awaits for you and sparks your interest and joy and you can just go in and enter the book. Y'all have a great day. Take care.